everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video because I am doing my very first cooking video. I know I have done some things, but I just have not cooked an actual meal. I have a playlist. You guys can check it out. Smoothies, healthy smoothies, stuff like, you know, simple stuff, moon pies, but never a real meal. So, I want you guys to stay, stay with me, hit subscribe, put the, put the bell on, and let's get into it. I am making, let me show y'all, I gotta read as I go because it's new to me. I am making a lemon garlic butter chicken with green beans in a skillet. And I'm super nervous, but I'm also super excited, so I hope you stay with me to the end. So the ingredients you are going to need, and I do need my glasses for this, you guys, is three to six boneless, skinless chicken thighs, which I already have going in the skillet. A pound of green beans. I have my green beans in here. See? What I did is put a cup of water and put it in the microwave for eight to ten minutes. Um, I always do that to make sure they're still crunchy, but almost cooked. That's just a little tip. I'm looking at my tablet because I this is new doing it this way. I used to do my own, but I'm trying something new. So three tablespoons of butter, four garlic cloves. I just got minced garlic. You need paprika. I got paprika. And my seasonings, by the way, come from the Dollar Tree. I just want to let y'all know this. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Even this minced garlic, Dollar Tree, and one teaspoon of onion powder. Dollar Tree, salt and pepper, and we want a lemon. Of course, I have it on my trusty, trusty lemon plate. And you need chicken stock. I have chicken stock and hot sauce. I got the old school Frank hot sauce. And I have all this in the description, so don't worry about it. I got salt and pepper, the grinder kind. These are also from the Dollar Tree. You grind it, fresh pepper, fresh salt. And I have parsley. Here it is. Parsley flakes that I put in there. All right. The chicken is searing. I know you can hear it. Now let's get into cooking it. Okay. So first thing we got to do is get your chicken in the, in the skillet. And I did that because I'm trying to save time. Now you have to put the seasonings in the bowl. Get yeah. it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> and you combine... So see how much I'm doing. I'm not going to say what size it is again because I said it in the beginning. And it will be in the description box. So you'll be able to catch it later. So we're going to put um, the paprika in the bowl. I'm going to put my onion powder in the bowl. Salt and pepper. Remember I said I got the grinding salt and pepper. So I'm just going to grind a little bit. While the chicken is cooking, five minutes on each side. Okay? Because you want it to be cooked thoroughly. I'm going to turn it. Go. See there? The chicken is searing. It's cooking on each side nice and golden brown. That's what you want. I did five minutes on this side. I'm doing five minutes on the other. I'm going to add a little bit of um, seasoning to the top of it. It's going to be the um, paprika, onion powder, and salt and pepper. I'm going to pour that over the chicken. I'm sprinkling the onion powder, paprika, salt, and pepper all over my chicken. That's what you want to do because I already seasoned it with my favorite Creole seasoning. But you add this and it gives it a whole nother kick. And then when it's done cooking, I am going to take this chicken out. And then we're going to work on the green beans. We're going to put those in the skillet in the same juice and the same, you know, mixture that I have in here. Which is going to be great. You really want to make sure your chicken is all the way done though. And if you're just tuning in, lemon garlic butter chicken with green beans and with green beans in a skillet is what we're making today. Leave me a comment and let me know if you're gonna try this. I go up to a lot of cooking channels, a lot of cooking videos, and I actually try to make the stuff. So let me know what you guys are gonna do. We're gonna remove the chicken now because I think it's pretty cooked, and we'll put the green beans in next. Here's my plate. I have a square plate. I love this plate, you guys. <laughs> Look at how golden crispy. That's what you want on your chicken. You want it cooked where it's golden brown. Use your own seasoning. That's what I recommend. Use your own seasoning and then put in the mixture that I told you. Onion powder, paprika, salt, and pepper. Put that on top. I have a lot of chicken here. I tend to cook big. I have three <laughs> children and a husband. And I don't know. I just kind of got in the habit of cooking big. Yes, yes, yes. That's my golden brown chicken. I'm going to put this other tablespoon of butter back in the skillet. Put it in the skillet. You can hear that going, I hope. Now I'm going to put in the chopped parsley, 
Remember I told y'all I got a half a cup of parsley here? Not even. If you have um, fresh parsley, it's a half a cup. I'm using parsley from, um, from the bottle. So I didn't put quite as much. So you put the garlic in there. I'm gonna put, I got the minced garlic. Don't forget this. I'm going to put some of that. I'm going to put some, um, I think I'll put two or three tablespoons of garlic because I really like garlic. So I'm going to put garlic. And I'm going to add the hot sauce that I have to this mixture also. I hope you guys like this because I just think it's a bomb recipe. We're going to add in the green beans. Don't forget it still has the chicken, the juice from the chicken and the seasoning from the chicken in here. I never emptied it out. Don't empty it out. You want to keep that. And of course, the key here is healthy. Let me show you what type of green beans that I like. This is one organic green beans from Haircut Vert for Earth and Farm, for Farm Vert. And it's organic green beans. So these are really good. So I got all my butter in there. I got everything in there. We're going to let that cook. Also, I had a lemon. Now is when you're going to add the lemon juice. I wanted fresh lemon. So I'm going to squeeze fresh lemon into my skillet. You see how it goes over the top? You can use lemon juice that's in a bottle, but I just like the fresh lemon on the top. Okay, and now the chicken stock that I showed you in the beginning and the ingredients, this is when the chicken stock goes in on the green beans. The green beans have its own situation happening. Look at that. Yes, baby. <laughs> If you don't hear that fear, you ain't doing it right. So we're going to let that cook. We're going to let the green beans cook in its own seasoning for about five minutes. And then we'll be putting the chicken back in the pan, putting a little more salt and pepper. Let me grind it. See the salt coming out? It comes out fresh salt. Same thing with the pepper. My pepper, Dollar Tree. Grind it. I think it's looking good. What do you guys think? I think it looks delicious. You think it looks good? Oh, while that's cooking, I have a minute to talk to you all. Check out what I'm drinking while I cook, because you know I got to have a drink on deck. It may not be daiquiri on deck on deck, but it's a drink on deck. I got Arbor Mist Moscato Mango Strawberry. Tell me that does not look delicious. Because I just feel like you got to have a little cooked cocktail while you're cooking. See? Mm-mm. And as a surprise, if you're here with me the whole time, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to make pineapple lemonade. Not just regular pink lemonade or regular, regular lemonade. Pineapple lemonade. I'm going to show you all the ingredients. I can probably do it while this um, is actually cooking. If you want... You can eat it just with the chicken and the green beans. I love jasmine rice, and I and I don't want to spend a lot of time cooking. It's just me, my husband, and my daughter. So I got Uncle Ben's jasmine rice, 90 seconds in the microwave, and boom, you are done. So you got to get this. Almost done. We can add this uh, chicken in a minute. Boom, yow. I got my recipe on Pinterest, by the way. This book is filled up of recipes I've wrote for the last probably five, six years. Not that I love cooking, but I love new stuff. I don't want to make the same thing all the time. So I am a person who will write a recipe down in a minute. Just like when you guys do that on your videos and I subscribe to you, I love cooking videos. So when I really do watch y'all videos, it's a lot of people that I actually watch their videos. And I don't always screw it up like I did with Precious 147's banana bread, but... <laughs> You know, bacon and all that is not so much my thing. <laughs> I let my daughter take care of that. Now I think I'm ready to put the chicken back in the, in the skillet. I think um, I'm going to give it a little more juice. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. If you think it looks good, you know, tell me something. Talk to me. All right. Don't forget the golden chicken. Put it all back. And this is very healthy. It's chicken thighs with no skin and um, no bone. Does that mean you can't use your favorite part of the chicken? No. Now look at all this chicken. 
And then you just garnish it, pretty much. I like it to look a little bit juicier. I'm going to add a little, a little of my chicken stock on top, just to get that color back on. What y'all think? Okay. Now, to make it look pretty, I'm going to put a little bit of my parsley flakes. You got to garnish your food, give it a little look, you know. And I'm putting a little bit of my lemons on top, which I think looks amazing. So that is my lemon garlic butter chicken in a skillet. Now, the good stuff at the end. If you stay to the end, you will know that I'm also going to show you how to make pineapple lemonade. I'm going to show you the plate later. I'm going to show you to finish this meal off how to make pineapple lemonade. So refreshing for the summer. I'm super excited. I hope you like this too. If you like my lemonade recipe, let me know in the comments. You guys talk to me in the comments. Let me know if you want me to do more cooking videos. The first thing is a pitcher of ice. I love a lot of ice, so yes, I have a lot of ice in here. You get your country time lemonade, which is what I have, the labels off, but I use country time. This is the plain lemonade. You can get pink lemonade, you can get it however you want. One cup of country time lemonade. I like a little sugar in my lemonade, so I put a half a cup of sugar. You don't have to use that if you don't want to. The pineapple juice, chilled pineapple juice. I have Dole's pineapple juice, 46 ounce can. You put that in your in your container. See? This is why it's pineapple lemonade and not just regular lemonade. I've got three cups of water. Three cups of water. And this might be a little small, so two cans of Sprite. Hey, summertime refreshing. One can in this case because I'm not using the big pitcher thing I have. So we'll just do one can. Stir it all up, and how good does that look? Pineapple lemonade. I'm going to add a couple of lemons to mine just to give it a little look. You can add pineapples. You can add whatever. I have fresh pineapple also, which I will be putting in here. I hope you all enjoyed my video. That's it for today. Please hit subscribe if you want to. If my content, see my playlist. I've made other things, so check my playlist. You're going to see the finished product at the end of this video. And everything is going to be in the description box. I think I will put the ingredients. And I don't know if you guys need me to put um, the recipe itself, you think? Yeah, so I put all of that into the, uh, into the description box. Thank you for tuning in to Teresa's first meal. Because <laughs> I've made other things, just my first meal on YouTube. Bye.